In this video, we'll be discussing the MSP Toolshed Quick Start Guide. Please refer to the documentation for any further information as we go through this guide. The first thing you'll want to do is log into MSP Toolshed. You can do this by going to portal.msptoolshed.com and then clicking on Sign In. Next, you're going to want to review the IP allowances for integrations if you have any type of firewall restrictions, as they may affect the integrations with MSP Toolshed. You will find additional videos in the documentation pertaining to these topics. If you do not use ConnectWise Automate, you can skip on to the next part. If you do have ConnectWise Automate, please follow the permissions requirement documentation to set up the credentials that are required for the integration. After you've set up the RMM credentials, go into MSP Toolshed, come into the settings section, and you're going to fill out the ConnectWise Automate section here. You'll see that there's URL, username, and password. As for the agent server password section, please make sure to check the documentation for further information. After that, go ahead and save, and you'll have the Automate integration set up. Once you've signed in to MSP Toolshed, you will come into the home screen. On the home screen, you will find the deployment details for any deployments that you have completed. In the configuration profiles section, you'll be able to set up different profiles for the different options and items that you wish to do for your deployments. For example, you can set up software installations, either using MSP Toolshed scripts, Chocolatey, or potentially even RMM scripts, depending on your RMM. Also here, you can nest profiles. For example, you may want to create a base profile, which you'll use within your client-specific profiles. The naming rules section is where you go to create rules for MSP Toolshed to utilize for renaming computers during deployment. These naming rules are utilized in the configuration profiles, and these are typically going to be client-specific. In the OneTouch deployment section, you will create the different deployments for your clients. In these deployments, you will attach a configuration profile that you have set up to perform the actions you wish to happen during the deployment. If you are using ConnectWise Automate, here you will also choose the client and location to be specified for the Automate agent installation. Once you've created the deployment, you can download the PPKG file, also known as a Windows provisioning package, that can be utilized during the Windows out-of-box experience. The PPKG file should be placed on a FAT32 provisioned USB stick for usage. If you make any changes to the deployment package, you will want to re-download and update the PPKG files that you are using. Web Start deployments are used with existing computers and can allow you to create a customized web page where end users can download the MSI file and perform the deployment themselves. Just like with OneTouch, you will attach a configuration profile to the Web Start deployment and can also set up a vanity URL, image, and welcome message for further branding. Custom installers are additional items that can be added to configuration profiles where you can perform installations that might not be included with other profile items. You will need to have the direct download URL to create a custom installer and you will have the option to set up custom execution strings if needed. For example, an antivirus installer with a site key so that it installs to the proper site or client. In the settings section, you will find the integration settings, for example, for ConnectWise Automate, Manage, and also Microsoft Teams, along with MSP Toolshed settings. In the user management section, you can create additional users for your technicians and engineers. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact support at help at msptoolshed.com. We will continue to update and provide further documentations as more features are released or updated. Thank you for watching our quick start guide on MSP Toolshed.